Hello and a warm welcome to Bletchley Park. Uh, my name is John Gibson and I'm the Cyber Learning Officer here at Bletchley Park. And what that means is that I teach uh, students and young people about cyber safety, cyber security and cyber ethics. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to welcome a guest today who is Helen Rabe, who is the Chief Information Informa <laughs> There you go, Chief Information Security Officer at the BBC. And my first question to you is, what does, what does that mean? What, what, what is your job? Tell, explain to young people uh, what fundamentally you, you do for, for, for a living. It, it's a very big title for, simply put, I am responsible for keeping the BBC, its data, its systems and its people, safe from cybersecurity threats. So a very big title for what is not a simple job, but um, I'm very, very privileged to have the role. So today's tip is about um, passwords and specifically um, the, the advice that we're currently being given to take three completely random words and create a password using them. And okay. that's good advice and it's something that um, uh, students and young people can do. But it got me thinking, you know, it's 2023 now. Why, why are we still using passwords? Surely there must be something better that we, we can use to, to authenticate ourselves. I would like to think there was, but we're still a work in progress when it comes to passwordless and, and how we move past, m moving past the password ambition. So to go passwordless, We've had years of passwords. We have a strong legacy of using passwords. To just move away from it straight away, that's not going to be feasible. Yes, we have more advanced solutions. We have biometrics. We have the passwordless keys um, using the, the FIDO protocols that, that go with that. And I know I've been asked not to use technical stuff, but just bear with me. As I use a <laughs> uh, it's a force of habit. Um, <clears throat> passwordless is an ambition. But like every technology ambition that we have, it will take time to move us from something like that into the evolution of being completely bias, uh, you know, passwordless. Biometrics are great, but we don't use one in exception of the other. We have to use a combination these days. So tagging three words together to create a passphrase is a great practice, right? It's not easy to crack that. It's not easy to break it depending on what you do. Keep in mind as well that passwordless is only as good as how many times you use that password. In other words, if you're using that password on multiple sites, multiple platforms, it doesn't matter how complex it is. If it's ever broken once, you are at risk. Right. So passwordless. One day we will get there. Is there something better here and now? No. We use a combination and that helps from a deterrent standpoint. Um, the basic best practice exists. Use strong passwords. Do not use the same password on multiple sites. Passwordless is not. If you get a technology that claims to be passwordless, like using password keys or biometric, do not trust the technology inherently. No technology is infallible. It can still be broken. But to answer your point, passwords are here to stay for a while longer. So, so kind of to summarise that, you know, no, nobody likes having to think up lots of different passwords or, mm -hmm. or you know, change their passwords or create them. But for students, you know, who, who are at school yep. now, you're foreseeing for them, you know, unfortunately, realistically, they're going to be using them uh, for the foreseeable future when they go out into the into the adult world and um, they need to choose yes. them wisely, choose them carefully to and, avoid and being And use a password hacked. manager. Yes, absolutely. They're, we're not going to be able to replace them overnight. They're, they are here to stay. How long? If I knew that answer, I'd, I'd be very wealthy. Let's um, find out. We can yeah. find out about password managers on our second tip. 